Okay. Let's see. Are we live? Yes. I think we're live. I'm gonna wait until I see some people popping up in chat. Looks like we're live. I never know if I'm doing it right. If you can see me, there you are. Mr. Requis is here. Welcome, guys. I need to go ahead and tweet out that I'm live. Um, we are doing no spoilers. I'm just gonna explore Norway and we're gonna have a good time doing it. It's been a second since I've streamed, so sorry guys if I'm a little uh, slow to the draw here. I actually closed my stream chat. There we are. Okay. Hey guys. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. We're playing Valhalla. Um, let me actually link my Discord server as well. Um, Valhalla, exploring Norway, no spoilers. Oh, that's not the right link. Very professional stream so far, right? Cool, 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 cool. All right. How's it going, guys? We are not on Xbox Series X. We are on the Xbox One, because I am not special enough to get a Series X. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, so no story spoilers. Uh, we are in Norway. Um, I am going to... Yeah, no spoilers. So we're not going to do any main story right here. Promise you that. Um, guarantee you that. So that is that. Um, but we are going to kind of explore around. Um, I may, like, darken the screen um, at certain points to avoid showing you, like, the quest log. Um, but beyond that, it's fair game. I can show you. Um, I can show you the game. So... Here is, uh, re and uh, I see Matthew's in chat. Matthew is actually um, Norwegian, right? Hopefully I'm right about that, Matthew. One of my YouTube supporters. Um, Riga Filk. Filk. <laughs> These are tough names. This is the map of Norway. Um, and this is, in terms of story, past the point. Um, where you're here. So I come back to Norway and if you guys want to ask me any questions at all I'll do my best to answer them. I don't know um, the answer to everything, but I will try my best um, So in my playthrough I am Let the animus choose that's the option that I chose So what right now see? I am female able so I figure we do some mysteries, some wealth, maybe a couple of raids, um, and have a great time. Yeah, so guys, you can go back to Norway at any time. There is no restriction on that. I know there were lots of questions about, like, you know, are you gonna get locked out? No, there might be a point, but 
Oh yeah. You guys want to see this? <laughs> Look at this! Isn't this insane? Uh, some of you may not like the walk out, but I do. By the way, let me know. Yeah, if there's any. Again, this is the first time I've streamed in a bit, so. Uh, <laughs> the wolf is fucking sick, bro. Yeah. Right? I didn't think I'd like the wolf, but the reason this is possible is due to an animus hack. Um, that's how it's explained, so. I know a lot of people are sticklers for realism and whatnot, but uh, that wolf is not really there. Eivor is really writing something, you know, more realistic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love re your reactions in chat. Okay, let's go get on the long ship. Hey, Alora, thank you so much. Alora is a new YouTube member. Um, so thank you, Alora. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. And Bill. Wait, Bill, did you just sign up, dude? Hey, boy! What the yeah, you, can, you can swim underwater, Brad. I saw your comment earlier. Let's go. You can totally swim underwater. Wow, there's uh, a lot of you here. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, so I'm actually... There are several ways that you can play. Sail up! In terms of, like, an exploration mode, um, there's actually three different options. I chose Pathfinder, which is the least help. So I'm getting the least help from the game on telling me where to go. Uh, just because I like to figure stuff out for myself. Let me know if that's good. So I'm using the bone biter right here. This is a two-handed axe. Cool. This guy's really shifty. There is a way to normalize the power level and stuff. I might do that. I just unlocked a sprint attack and I haven't used it yet. <laughs> That's awesome. The jumping shop there. Ah, just missed that guy. So it's like a technically like a jumping attack. They just did there. You still can't hear me? Is that true? True facts. I'm seeing some people saying it's better. Others, not so much. So this is a little environmental puzzle here. You find this a lot in a lot of buildings if you guys are curious. Most buildings aren't just open the door. <laughs> I've seen a large discrepancy of what's too loud. Either I'm too loud or the game's too loud. Am I excited for upcoming DLCs? Yeah, man. Kai, thanks for joining me, man. Appreciate you. Can you hear me? 
yeah, you kind of explore stuff in your own way. Um, that's my preference, personally, when I'm playing a game. Um, and I found that to, like, it really works, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, this is not, this is not my horse. I just ju jumped on someone's horse. Okay. What do you see, Sunan? There's really nothing else in this region. Let's pull up the map. Well, no, <laughs> there's plenty in this region. Yeah, let's actually go across the way here and check out this little island. I'm going to go back to my longship. It is my horse now, isn't it? Finders keepers. Yeah, so... Um, give you guys a little bit of background. I've been playing this for... I think I have about 12 hours played. My save says I have 11. Uh, that may be shocking to you considering I've, I've had the game a long time. Uh, you may be wondering why I haven't played more. <laughs> Just because I've been recording everything. Every single thing with my face. Run up the so. Do the controls feel natural? Yes. I will say that it's taken me a bit to kind of adjust. And I don't know if that's just a me thing or a game thing. Um, but it took me a while to kind of figure that out. Um, I've been seeing some requests to show haircuts. I am not going to go to the settlement. Uh, I'm going to stay here just because I do Hold not want to spoil you guys. That's my primary thing um, is to not spoil you. I'm just trying to show off a little bit of the game. Um, you can go underwater. I saw questions about that, but Norway is so cold that the water will freeze you if you stay in the water too long. So, it's, <laughs> it's pretty fun. Ooh, we've got uh, a fly agar mystery here. Fly agaric. Don't know how you're supposed to say that. Note written in an unsteady hand. The first gate leads to Frugheim where Thor thunders until Ragnarok. The second gate leads to Freya's Folkvang, for good men and women grown weary of battle. The third gate leads to Gladsheim, where the Allfather welcomes his blood drinkers. Sick. Oh yeah, uh, I wanted to show something really quick. Um, on my Discord server, someone was asking if you can hide the bow. You can hide every single individual piece of gear. Um, so if I hide the bow, it will not appear on me. I can hide everything. I can also just put, throw the hood on at any time. And then Eivor will actually just walk around like this in the world for as long as I want. And then even after battle, Eivor will put the hood back on. So if you guys are like, I want to play as an assassin that has the hood on at all times. I mean, you pretty much can unless you go into combat. Um, I'm playing on... Hey, Faded, that was you that asked the question. I think. Somebody. I'm playing on Xbox One X, guys. Not Series X. That'll be soon. Observe the signs and pass through. Okay. So Thor is the first one. Thor, and then Freya, and then Gladsheim. That looks like Freya. This is making me feel like I'm tripping. This is Thor. Okay. And then Freya. Eivor is really feeling it. Would I like to visit Norway after playing this game? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, I would really love to. After tripping on these mushrooms. Um, absolutely. Wait, so did I fail? Is that wrong? Oh, there's more. Or were these always here? <laughs> now I sound like I've been tripping on LSD or whatever this is. Okay, so Thor, Freya, that guy.
Okay, that was the animus noise, meaning that I made a mistake. It's interesting how these seem like they're appearing as different colors. Let's go see this one. Imagine if you played the whole game like this. I don't quite understand what the game's trying to get me to do now. I'll be honest. Can you hide the bow and still use it? Yes, sir. Look at that. So we got a nice sound effect there. Now let's go through this one. Nice sound effect there. And then this one. There it is. One who wanders widely and has traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature <laughs> and discover common sense. There you go. Hey, Josh. Quest mode, my fellow podcast host, is in chat. Everyone say hi. I believe Josh uploaded a video about Norway over on his channel. Ooh. Get this wolf here. There's some wealth to be had. You guys want to see some stealth or at least an attempt? Uh, explain more about Pathfinder mode. Let's dive into the options, actually. I'll show you guys. Um, exploration difficulty. There's different levels of exploration. So, oh, I was thinking it would like show me. It doesn't give a description. That's weird. I, I don't know why it's not giving a description. Okay, guys, I'll try to be stealthy. I, I've been pretty successful at being stealthy, I think. Be my eyes. Are there enemies here? I'm not seeing anyone, actually. This looks deserted. Deserted chalet. It's called deserted chalet, so. Is anyone home? This is not a natural quiet. It is as if a curse has befallen this place. Ornir and Emir. Ornir. Wonder where they've gone. Ornir's journal. Ein. Ein? Ein. King Harold is no lover of poetry. He desires only the puffed up praises praised from lesser mead soaked scalds. He can banish me from his house, but he will not silence my saga of King Harold the Unfair. One that will be sung long after his bone dust feeds the earth. But first, we must hunt. Emir and I. And at night, when our bellies are full, the poetry will flow like mead. So we've got to find a key to this chest. So right now I'm playing 30 FPS on an Xbox One X. Once the Series X is coming out, you guys, mm, I'm switching over there and I'm playing at 4K, 60 FPS. Emir was killed. Emir was killed. Uh, the wolves that took Emir, Emir, have come for me. The lice-ridden curs got past my traps and I hear them at the door. I cannot remember when I last ate, but the blood rage gives me strength and soon I will drink theirs. I will take many of the beasts down with me and ride to Valhalla on their howls of despair. It's pretty hardcore, man. Pretty hardcore. Is that another clue that I just didn't find? No, that's the chest. Okay. Hmm.
So we're looking for wolves, essentially. Go, my eyes. Sometimes I am not the best at figuring stuff out, I will be honest. Especially on stream. <laughs> I bet you it's just over here. This direction. What's up, dear? How's the story going so far? Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil story, but just to answer your question, I'm really, really liking it. Yeah, I'm enjoying the story. Wolves. It must be the pack that Urnir quarreled with. I wonder if I can assassinate. Surely they're not gonna let me just. I was thinking about getting up, up above. Okay, yeah, there's definitely Ornir's nose there. Yeah, you can slide. Um, I won't be showing the full map. Yeah, just too much potential for spoilers. I'm, su I'm sure someone else has already shown the full map somewhere on YouTube. Ornir, your worst fears realized. But your death will not be in vain. So, you're hearing Eivor's voice sounds a little weird. Th that's the character talking to themselves. You went to which is pretty cool. Them. I like that. Without speaking out loud, because you know how in characters in games are always like, I should go check out the next clue. And you're like, no one talks like that. <laughs> um, okay. Emir was out at night, but not to feed. Defending us against the darkness as I slept. I buried his remains in the moonlight while his killers howled their dire death song. The intrigues of Harold's court are a fading memory. Emir was a good dog and loyal companion. I am alone, but rage burns with a cold heat. Oh, lost his dog. It's very sad. Yeah, I've only played about a dozen hours, I think. Actually just recorded some this morning. <laughs> On the other hand, I have a massive wolf. <laughs> Do you guys want me to put on the Berserker set just to show you something a little different? It's pretty cool. I think it's uh, it comes with the pre order. <laughs> yeah, you guys are loving the wolf. I love the energy in chat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, can giant ride a giant wolf. Let's put on the set. Berserker hood, berserker armor. Berserker helmet, yeah, look at that. That's awesome. And then I'll put it, I'll unhide it, just to show you guys what it looks like when you run around with this thing we're just going full full viking here let's put on dual weapons here um i actually got a dagger so i don't know if you guys were following me on twitter link in the description if you want to if you're not already but we're just trying to like figure out what's the deal with swords one-handed swords um and i think the jury's still out i was convinced that there was like this in in between class of weapon called a seox but it's not labeled as such and i think yubi actually changed their mind on that so i don't know man. hey ren welcome back i haven't been looking that much at chat but i've noticed like when i do stream sometimes i get so distracted by chat that I have a tough time paying attention to the game. Deadly cold. All right. Can the wolf swim? Yeah, you can swim with your mount. Be my eyes. You sure can. There's another raid opportunity there. Look how pretty the game is, though, guys. 
this right here just gives me goosebumps. And this isn't this isn't even 4K. This isn't even on the Xbox Series X or the PS5. Isn't it nutty? It's just mind blowing to me. Does your mount die if you swim in Norway? Should we find out? <laughs> Should we kill our mount? Um Okay. So let's actually go towards this guy. This direction. To the northwest. More sail! How repetitive does the game feel? Hmm. I haven't felt that it feels repetitive, mostly because I've been focusing on the story. Um, however, when I have gone off and done some side activities, I've, nothing's felt the same because no one side activity that I've done so far has been exactly the same. Um, so I'm trying to think of the best way to explain what I just said. I would say every single side activity that I've done, little story, or world event is really what I'm trying to tell you guys, like side quests, as, as we typically describe them, those have been completely unique stories, right? So nothing about them, no one person's story is the same as another person's, obviously. That's something you expect. Die. And then I do have the chain assassination ability, but I think it didn't work there because I was immediately discovered. <laughs> guys, is that not so sick? And this guy is running away. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. Okay. <laughs> um, is there an option to change the camera angle? Not that I know of, but you can put on your cloak and then your cloak actually zooms the camera in unless you're sprinting, then it'll zoom it back out. But in general, when you're just walking around with the cloak, I believe it's more zoomed in. Let's actually, I mean, we're here. Why don't we test that? So this is the normal camera angle. This is the cloak. See how it kind of zooms in? And then if you run, it's pretty normal. It's slightly closer though. Am I crazy? Slightly closer. Yes, it totally is. Yeah, so if that's something that you're kind of uh, worried about, I don't believe there's a camera option. You know what, you have me curious though. So... Interface, perhaps? HUD. Mm, yeah, I don't see any camera options. I will tell you that I've not been bothered by it. I know that really doesn't answer your question, but just like personal opinion. Does the Raven's voice change to Eagle if you equip Senu's skin? So the Raven doesn't speak. That's Eivor. <laughs> I can see why you would... I need your eyes, my friend. Yeah, see that right there? That's Eivor. Um, not exactly. That was fun. Yeah, no, ta no talking birds. This is really cool.
and totally unexpected. There is fall damage. Um, what you just saw was a jump from a height that wasn't high enough to hurt me. So I think that's that's the deal there. Wow, there's a lot of treasure somewhere nearby. This is not 4K60, guys. This is 1080 30 because I'm playing on a uh, on Xbox One X. Okay, there is a cave entrance right here. This is Eivor's like when childhood home. Oh. showed me this passage, I was so excited. I won every game of hide and fetch after that. Oh, this might be spoilers. What do you guys think? Like some puzzling here. Okay. If if you guys are cool with this, I'm just gonna roll with it. Why can't I move this thing? <laughs> Okay, that's all I needed to do. This is pretty cool, though. Packs, gems, precious things. How did Chutvi's dogs miss this? So I just got a carbon ingot, which is an upgrade. An enhancement, rather, an enhancement, what do you call it, material. Because my torch immediately goes out when I drop it. This is very cool. Let's continue to walk through these buildings. We've got something over here. I just didn't expect to find something like this over here. Statue. This is where father and mother left this world. I would have died with them in dishonor, if not for Sigurd. So that, <laughs> that's a little spoilery. I feel a little bad showing you guys that. I'm gonna make sure and timestamp this, uh, this video and, and uh, mark off this section. If you're paying close attention, yeah. Okay, let's just stop talking about that. Um, <laughs> let's sail over here. I'll call my long ship. One goofy thing that I've noticed is that sometimes you'll call your long ship and they won't actually come to you. They'll like stop in the middle of a river and you're like, <laughs> now I'm supposed to jump out and swim. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Very small nitpick. <laughs> Kilo just joined the video when I showed that. You know, I didn't know it was there. That's. I guess that's still on me. It's okay though. It's okay. We're still we're rolling with it. The wolf mount comes with the berserker pack, and like certain uh, versions of the game include it. I'm not exactly sure which ones, so I'm not gonna tell you guys like one way or another. Uh, but I think that information's available online. If you look it up. <laughs> Lower my chair one inch as punishment. Sail down. Okay. Hey, pick up All right, guys. Y'all chill here. Look at that. Avor's cold. I've noticed that Avor will kind of. Well, Avor's not wearing clothes really. It's a lot of exposed skin, so there's a reason that we are. Cold. Welcome, traveler. Hey. Our lush and fertile shores. 
What is this? It's a world event. Hello, crazy man. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? It is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. Wait, what? I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour. Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. Uh, okay, hold on one second. Thank you, Morse Code. I really appreciate that super chat. Um, love your positivity and all the work you've done leading up to Valhalla's release. Thanks, man. It's great to just share in this experience with you guys. Does parkour have ascending side ejects again? It does not. Um, they're only used for descent in this game. Yeah. With what they had. So this guy's insane. Is that what we're gathering here? Let me read this note. I know he's giving us a tour. England is closer, th closer than you think. Come and visit beautiful England. Rich fields and game. Oh, he's saying that this is England. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this guy's insane. Okay. What are you going to show us, man? These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Abor's like, yeah, okay, yeah. Great. I'm coming, old man. Don't you worry about it. We're doing a nice thing here. This is like charity. We're we're appeasing this man. We're not upsetting him. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us, but King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. I'm sure he does, though. I'm sure he does. Someone asked if they could see the big cities on the map. I'm not going to show you, um... This is Hadrian's I don't want to spoil anything. That's my big thing. line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. <laughs> can you sail back and forth? Not literally. You can fast travel back and forth between England and Norway. Are there wolves? They keep going in and out of combat. There must be wolves. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? <laughs> I am sure he's somewhere. I'm expecting the king to be like a stuffed animal or something. That's Do my guess. Do not worry, my king. I am coming. Or like a small animal. That's not it, right? But this is just a wolf. I don't want to kill this guy's wolf. Or that's a fox, not a wolf. Yeah, if you guys are asking about story-specific spoilers, I will not answer them. Thank you, Undersittable, for the super chat. Really appreciate you. Thanks so much. Arctic Fox. Thank you, guys. Animals. Everything's a dog or a cat. To me. 
that makes no sense. My king! What happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Force balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me! You cut out his tongue! He has no tongue! Because you cut it out! You are his son. Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear? I have an idea that could help. If you let me, old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He's praising you. He wants to thank... Heesing. He wants to thank Heesing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? Thank you, Pickle. Appreciate you, man. Thanks so much for that super chat. Yeah, I'm excited to share it with you guys. Um, okay, so are we gonna lie? Oh, do we lie? Sorry, I'm kind of blocking this option. The Picts surrender from north of Hadrian's Wall or wake up from your dream? I mean, are these people suffering? Am I a bad person to let these people keep doing what they're doing? Do what's best. But it's... Ah, oh, it's not obvious. Maybe it is to you guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna lie. Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Oh, it is a good deal and greater news. Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. Oh. You'll know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday the fog will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There is courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The pigs have been fine. <laughs> King Alfred is That's pleased. fun. The peace holds. For now. So what I'll tell you guys is that a lot of side quests that I've done are similar to what you just saw. Um, not in terms of, like, all of them are silly, but, like, uh, there's a lot of, like, wholesome stuff. And a lot of it is not necessarily combat related you were just helping people which which i really like personally i'm actually going to black out the screen here for a sec and then i'm going to show you england um oh don't gosh actually i can't show you the world without traveling shit the cat's out of the bag now right it's like i told you i was going to show you the map of england and now i'm not it's just not fair Hmm. Let's explore a little bit more. I'll think more on it. Uh, Gutorm wants to see Avoldsness. Where's Avoldsness? Ah, right here? We could. I mean, there's nothing there. That's my only, like... I mean, there... Sorry, there is something there. That's totally wrong, what I just said. But I've already explored it. But you guys haven't seen it. How did I get an early copy? Um, so I've actually had like a working working relationship. That doesn't even sound right. I've had a connection with Ubisoft for several years now, and but I only like really have been focusing on Assassin's Creed in the last year just because I kind of rediscovered it after not really playing Origins of Odyssey a ton. Like I did play those games, but I didn't. I didn't, certainly didn't play everything. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, long story long, I have a connection with them. So they saw that I was making Assassin's Creed content and they wanted to support me further. 
by sending me a code and allowing me to uh, play the game early. And obviously, that's awesome. And I, I've uh, tried my best to thank them as much as I possibly can because it's truly a ridiculous opportunity to be able to play stuff early um, in, in the grand scheme of things. Can you drown? Um, yes. Yeah, you can drown. You can drown, you can freeze. Cloak gameplay when I land? Heck yeah, let's do it, man. So... Yeah, let's keep heading this direction, and then we're actually kind of heading towards that marker. I'm not going to mark it, because I just... I like using my eyes, you know, in this game. I don't want to just follow icons. Can you sail wherever you want? Let's try this for fun. Let's see, this is off the map, right? That's off the map. Was that a... Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Let's sail off the map. I'm actually curious. Does watching this spoil? I'm trying my best to not show you any spoilers. That's why I put no spoilers. Does it feel similar to AC Odyssey? Yeah, so I'm going to make a video on this fairly soon. Um, look at that. Animus wall. Area not available. So we'll probably desync if we keep going. Yeah. No. No, this is fine. We're, we're going back in. There we go. <laughs> That's what happens. So, if you were curious, we're still in the Animus. We're still Assassin's Creed. <laughs> right? So, we're heading to that. That island right there. Why is this in 30 FPS? Because we're on an we're still on current gen. Yeah. So if you are not getting a next gen console, like you didn't get a pre-order or something, this is what you're going to experience on Tuesday. Yeah. And I yeah, so I've played this entire thing. I haven't played the entire game. Played about a dozen hours on my Xbox One X. And this is what it looks like. I have been to England. Yeah, I wanted to come back to Norway because there's a point where you leave and go to England, obviously. Ooh, this is a really cool area. Whoa. What's going on here? Um, and you can just fast travel back. Otter Strand. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Cool, okay. So, huh. Could just climb this thing straight up. Yeah, let me put my uh, cloak on. I did say I would do that. There you go. I guess there's, oh, yeah. Can grab onto that. So Eivor can pretty much climb most things. Um, definitely expert level climbing. Has literally no problem scaling cliff sides. <laughs> but apparently not ice, which makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Aha! Cool. Are clo cloak physics fixed? You guys tell me. I think it looks pretty dope, personally. I'll, I'll get on a mount in, in a sec so you guys can see what that looks like. Nice. 
and then we're just gonna take a. Okay. I want to land in the water. Oh hey, I haven't showed you guys skills at all. So this is what I've unlocked. Backstab. Any hit in the back is extra, extra defense damage and staggers. Stealth Recon. Automatically highlight enemies when crouched and undetected. Sprint Attack. You guys have seen that a couple times. Advanced Assassination. So that's the ability to one-shot anyone. Um, after performing a successful assassination, throw an axe at a second NPC standing nearby. I've also got Dual Swap, which I barely use. I'm sure there's more skilled players than I that uh, have figured out how to use that pretty well. So I'm actually gonna upgrade here. Way of the Bear, Heavy Resistance. And that is what? Perfect attack. Press RB again during a weapon swing to do more damage on the next hit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we got 1,000 people. Hi, hi, my friend Sam. Oh, cool, guys. Oh, shit. We don't want to freeze to death. So, yeah, this is kind of cool how there's planks laid out. This water, deadly cold. This water is deadly cold. Best not to draw attention. Oh, there's people here. There's people here. Ah! Turn to ice if I stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. Just trying to get to a safe place. So having my hood on right now does not affect literally anything. I just want you guys to be aware of that. Hood really, and I'm, I'm talking about in terms of gameplay, right? I'm gonna put it on still, because it looks cool. Why else would you wear a hood, right? Hmm. Am I gonna be close enough? For a jumping assassination? The answer's no. So actually, we should just get down. <laughs> Very subtle of me. Look, I just completely screwed that up. Luckily, there's no way to ring a bell or anything around here that I can see. Are there any more enemies even? Sonen, guide me. Place is pretty dis Oh yeah, there are. Let's see if we can get some stealth going on over here. There's only one guy, though. Can you double assassinate? No. I have not been able to yet. I think I've only tried once. Someone asked earlier if you could slide. I just did it there. There's your assassination. Hmm. Is there nothing else here, really? It's kind of shocking. Tell me what lies ahead. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. So I say we go over here. There's actually some very interesting stuff. That looks like a full-on city because there's a drinking challenge. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. How do you get the X-ray assassination? Um, great question. You get it by assassinating certain targets. So... It's it's not just random, and it's also not tied to a skill. I think I incorrectly thought that it was tied to a skill. It's not. 
This is the full game. This is the full game. Hey, Cuzwalt. Been a while. Thanks, man, for joining me. Okay, so I see a question about um, how different is this game compared to um, times I played it before. Much more polished. Um, the method by which we were playing made things like combat pretty difficult. And that is pretty much... Show me. Are there people here? No. Um, those problems pretty much don't exist now that I've got, like, I'm just playing the game on the console, right? So, uh, but yeah, much more smooth, less buggy because, yeah, I mean, what you guys are seeing right here is day one patch Valhalla. This is what you're going to be playing on Tuesday. Yeah, I can't wait for my Series X either. It's going to look even better. Which is super exciting to me. Okay, let's just kind of pull up over here. Some very angry seals. Cool little detail here. If you hold down left on the D-pad, Avor will automatically mount. Just like a small quality of life thing, but I, I like it. Am I not getting the PS5? Yes, I am. Yep, I've got both. I'm going to get both. I have neither right now. Is this... Enemy territory? It's kind of weird how no one's here. But there's pots of food. My rations are already full, though. I won't complain. Minor rune of rain. Never seen that before. Fire damage resistance. Nice. Makes sense. Let's go get this uh, sink point on the roof. So far, how would I rank this in terms of all open world AC games? I feel like it's a mistake to answer that question. Um, and I actually think I can't. I can't actually formally review the game yet. Uh, I can tell you though that I really like it. It's really fun It's and it's gorgeous. As you can tell, <laughs> like it's a really pretty game. There is lock-in combat, yeah. God, look at this. Look at that view! I mean... Ah! Kind of sound like a raven myself. <laughs> Goosebumps, y'all. Okay. Uh, is there a leap of faith? Oh, I think I see it. It's the, it's the pool. Yep. 
You've seen some of the parkour capability. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, let's just drop like that. That's fine. And then. Uh, is this death? This seems very ill advised. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's fine. Stavanger. Live a charmed life. Hey guys. It's a pretty cool city. Oh. So I think there are some like disagreeable Vikings in this village. It's probably like they're not exactly like enemies. They won't attack on sight, but like clearly we have beef. We don't like each other. There's a tattoo design up here. I'll show you guys one of the parkour puzzles. Let's go over here. Yeah, man, there's lots of people watching. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. I I wanted to do just the playthrough, but um, after discussing it on the Discord server, by the way, if you like Assassin's Creed, join our Discord server. Link in the description. Um, got a very passionate community on there that's been, you know, talking nonstop about Assassin's Creed. Ah, so that's how those work. Very similar to... I guess you'd say Assassin's Creed 3. You guys ready for a flitting challenge? You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? What tiny little child approaches. Oh. Me? Turn around, face me. Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you, you need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. <laughs> I have consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. I do. I saw someone in the chat said that flighting sounds boring. You could not be more wrong. Um, it's actually really fun. You just have to learn how to do it. I find it fun. I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Very awkward. Um, big bet. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. All the money's on the line. <gasps> Thank you so much for that super chat. Is the game balanced in terms of assassins? I'll answer that question in just a second. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? You have the form of a very large swine. I'm not awed by your muscles, but shocked by your pride. What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. Third what one. you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. Yeah. They like that. They like More that. than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. Your pride is misplaced. You're as plain as they come. No. I don't like your features or your hair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. It's this one. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant. Yes, <laughs> more. <laughs> Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. You've the wit and the charm of a wood tick. I can't say that I have. You're uniquely obtuse. It's the first one. No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal. <laughs> I adore it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. 
Rare to find someone with any flighting skill. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. So basically... That you? Yeah, that's how you increase your charisma, and that unlocks dialogue options. Um, mostly when you're trying to, like, barter in quests. Like, if you have to bribe someone, for example, then it'll, a it'll give you a charisma check, and if you pass the check, you can use the option. If you don't, then you just have to pay. That's the only instance that I've seen charisma, but I'm sure there's going to be more. Um, but yeah. It's basically, you have to match the rhyme, and you have to stay on topic with the subject. And then there's one more thing. Okay, there was a question, a super chat that I missed. So I'm going to go back up. Uh, is the game balanced in terms of assassins? See, I don't know exactly what you mean. In terms of like an assassin play style, um, you can absolutely do most things stealthily. I think only like very specific story instances where you're thrust into... Look how big this guy is. Oh, he's actually not that big. Um, where you're thrust into an open battle, do you have to do it completely open, which is pretty cool. But in terms of story, I can't answer that question because that's spoilers. Hey, Brock, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate you, man. Thanks so much for the extra support. I saw an artifact in here, so I just decided to walk in this house. Um... I am, okay, simple offer. Sneefrid Halvadotir. I am writing for my brother who cannot. He would take you as his wife, but does not know the words. He asked me to ask you. He will make a good husband. He is strong and will my own father's farm when the old man is dead. He has also gone on a few raids and has some silver put aside. Send me an answer and I will tell it to him. This is basically the equivalent of passing notes in, in elementary school. Like, do you like me? Check yes. Or check no. It's very cute. Um, simple offer. I'm glad to hear it. You are too good for Thord. And I burned with envy when it, he told me his plan. I will plow your field and do any other work that needs doing. Come with me to Greenland where my brother cannot bother us. Leave your answer at Torgatin Rock. So he does not know our plan. Okay, so there's some, there's a bamboozle going on. I don't actually know where Torgatten Rock is. What is... Oh, there's a scheme up here. Let's do another parkour. Um, so I'm seeing... I did see a, a comment about um, the game being boring or something like that. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that this is Norway. This is not... This is a region where you spend some time and then you leave and then most of the like stuff happens in England. And I'm not here to spoil the game for you guys. So... What we're doing is very chill stuff. It's very, we're side questing, we're exploring. Um, so I, I suggest you guys check out my playthrough. Uh, part one is up on my channel right now. Um, if you want to see some, some action, some, some story. Um, I think personally, I don't know about what you guys think. See, that was, that was a pretty ridiculous height to jump from, but it didn't hurt me. But if you jump from higher than that, you, you look hurt. like you could handle yourself in a fight. Um, Eivor Wolfkist, is hey, that Rolf, you? calm down. I'm talking, man. Jeez. Okay. So, what I'm trying to say is that most of the action happens in England. A guy called Johnny, thank you so much for the super chat. Huge OV, OG fan. Love your content. Thanks, dude. A few questions. You have to wear a cloak to wear a hood. And... Do you know what the Ubisoft rewards are? I actually don't know if I can show you the Ubisoft rewards, so I'm just kind of doing myself a solid and not, um, what do you call it? Not looking. I don't want to get in trouble. But to answer your question, uh, <laughs> what the hell just happened? So did that re-equip the cloak? It's kind of dark. I can't tell. So... I hid the cloak. So it's hidden. It's not on. But if I do this... The game puts it back on. Which is actually kind of a cool little thing they thought of, you know? 
It's like, of course, of course people would try to do something like that. So let's actually take it off. Can we unequip? So there's nothing in that slot. Now let's try. Now I can't use the cloak. That's actually pretty sick. A little detail there. Alright. Let's go. Put our cloak back on. Nice. All right. Hmm. That guy was calling for me. There's a lot of stuff we can do around here. It's like a couple wealth things. There's a drinking challenge. What do you guys want me to do? You guys want me to go after one of these wealth things or do the, the world event? Or there's two world events, actually. While I wait for your answers, yes, I can show the whole map of Norway. This is Norway. So this is a very high suggested power level area up here. And then this is very low. So. Go to fight. World event. Explore. Drink. Drink. World event. It's a mix. It's a mix. I'm going to talk to this raider. I'm sure he's gonna, he said, do you look, you look good in a fight. Let's talk to him. Start there. It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered, you remember? It was the first time Sirbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still <laughs> raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, oh. I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Okay, cool. Locals mostly. Um, Even to answer Apex's question, for excitement. I played How a dozen hours. And, and thank you for the super chat. There is no Raiders wanted, do you dream of being rich like a raider? Join my crew. Come. There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Pretty big Mostly deal. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. This is my raiding oh, crew, Eivor, fight? but they lack in experience. They make up for in other areas. This is cool. Okay. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Oh, yeah. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashield the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgild. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. Yeah. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? Huh? I have handled more. Do you want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. <clears throat> it was hard enough finding this man. This is not a story mission. This is what's called a world event. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? Only one rule. Don't touch the I hair. Fight! I don't think I've done a fist fight like this before. Ow. Oh, jeez. Okay. You have much to learn. Oh. That guy just looked like a WWE. 
I mean, I guess it makes sense. Takedown? Looks like one. You'll have to fight <laughs> me first. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. Whoa! Oh, look, you just got parried. You thought you could sneak up on me? I don't think so. Did I win? No, but you fought well. You have a good chance. I would rather have some meat. <laughs> that guy's an idiot. All right, Rolf. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes, I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed, like his old man. Wait, that is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, once again, most of the world events I've done are like that. So you like, in terms of combat stuff, you you go on raids, you do main story stuff. Um, there's just random places that are guarded that you can go and like find a you know wealth or something. <clears throat> but it feels like most of these world events aren't combat related. Which is, like, uh, an interesting change of pace, and it kind of reminds me more of a witchery sort of um, vibe. What is over here? Yeah, we could do a raid, guys. Yeah. It's actually been a while since I think we did a raid at the very beginning of the stream. But I'm just curious. What's... What? Like, what? What? Oh no. <laughs> you guys are not gonna like that, huh? The textures are not loading for this. for these rocks. That's the first time I've seen that, though. There is a drinking challenge over here. Let's do this and then we'll go on a raid. I promise. Drinking challenge is way over land, there. My friend. Let's go ahead and drop our torch. Hi, Tia. Welcome. <gasps> One of our YouTube members are here. Thanks for joining us. We're having a grand old time. We're about to do a drinking challenge, and then we'll go on a raid. I promise. Yeah. I need to show you guys more comments. Ivan, I earn some. Shall we lock horns? Hell yeah. If you suck it back faster than me, oh yeah. You are the victor. Your silver. Let's see how much you'll risk. Big bet. Big bet. The Can you get charisma is. aside from flighting or flitting? I am not Man sure. Your horn. I'll take on all comers. Okay, here we go. Pressure's on. <laughs> We got this in the bag. We're going to start tipping soon. Yeah. You get like a very health generous like two seconds to react to the tipping. Uh oh, I missed one thing. Um, and Nirud, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate you. Is the game actually dark in night times like we saw in the demo? Do we have to use a torch just to walk at night? It's very dark right now. I think this is no uh, a thing that you encounter mostly in Norway, though. Um, England's not like this. 
Which is cool because I assume it's a little more accurate, right? <laughs> People are really getting mad at mini games. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys that have been around in chats um, have already identified people that are here that don't really want to like the game. They're just here to complain. I mean, which you know, you can't control what other people do. So, all right. Hmm. Marauder's Den sounds like a place that we could raid. It's really far. Hmm. I'm trying to find like some coastal places that we can raid. Like, I assume there might be somewhere somewhere here. This is a place in, um, that I've already done, so we can't do it again. Let's just go to Marauder's Den. There will be some combat there. Yeah. Can I show customization? So, the thing with customization is that you only do it at the settlement. Um, actually, I think there might be some... There might be an opportunity to do that here. Is it story spoilery, though? What do you guys think? Would you like to see some customization, even though it might sh like show some characters that you meet within the first couple hours of the game? <gasps> Definitely not anything like major, just groundbreaking spoilery, but um, if I see a general consensus in chat, I will show that. I see some nose. You know what I'll do? I must be careful now. Let's do this, and then I will black out the screen, and then once I get to the menu, I'll show you guys. Because that's technically not spoiling stuff, right? Oh wow! Wow. Okay, this is this is a great opportunity. There's some armor here too. Some great opportunity to show off stealth. Be forewarned, I kind of suck. That's stealth. I'm very impatient. There's a guy sleeping. This guy... It's not even looking my direction. So you can activate assassinations from <laughs> comically far away. Um... That's a prime example there. Okay, so we've got some guys up here. Everyone seems to be facing that direction. Okay, that guy's patrolling, but we seem to be okay. These guys are being weird. There's chain assassination, guys. Right there. Is that sick? <laughs> oh! They heard that. Oh. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Eivor's got a hell of an axe throw. What's wrong with the Northern Lights? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how they're supposed to look, so. Ooh, see, okay, check this out. It says stealth attack, but I think because I have advanced assassination, it will initiate the mini game. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when you can't one-shot someone immediately. And then I was able to get her just in time. Of 
cool. Rune of Minor Force, that adds stun to your, to your weapon. Sick. Well, guys, we, we did it. I think there's still some more people here. Oh, I could have shot that down. Probably. Maybe. Okay. Okay, it's just a one-handed hammer. Increase heavy damage after a heavy finisher. Okay. So if you click on the details for a weapon, it can it'll show you all this stuff, which I really appreciate personally. You, every single weapon has a little spiel about it. Okay. So let's put that in our offhand. Because that's typically where you see. Where you see kind of the difference between weapons, I'll say. I mean, there's obviously a difference in the main game, but yeah. Like, that's our that's our uh, special attack right there, is that leap. <laughs> it's sick. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought we were... Yeah, no, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, you didn't see anything. You can whistle, by the way. To attract. Do I think the game will be longer than Odyssey? What do I think? I don't know. Odyssey is very long. Honestly, couldn't tell you. Another chest over here. Feels like we pretty much clear out this area. Yeah. Have a look, Sunan. There's the Marauders camp. I feel like we've been stuck in the night for way too long. Let's meditate. No, I guess I can't meditate in uh, enemy territory. I swear, half the time I look at objects like this, I'm like, is that a guy? Nope. That's a tree. Uh, thank you so much, Dan. Appreciate how professional and wholesome your com coverage has been. I really appreciate those kind words, dude. Thank you so much, and thank you for the super chat. I'm, I'm glad you've been enjoying um, I don't know, man. It's just, it's more fun to have fun with games. That's something I've kind of learned fairly recently. You know, there's enough people. How do I say this? There's enough people out there that are not trying to have as much fun with games as they could be. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and they, more power to them. They can do whatever they want. Um, but yeah, I like to be positive. I do. Okay. So I'm showing you guys some customization. And as I said, I am not gonna show you this location because I consider it spoilery, but I will show you the menus. Yes, yeah, Allura, this is coming to current gen and next gen. I'm playing on current gen, but it will be on, on next gen, yeah. Oh my God, we actually have someone Yes, Ren. Get him. We had someone going off about politics in chat. Hilarious. Okay. Right. So you guys can't see this. Good. I'm actually... Okay, yeah. We can do stuff here. So, you guys can't see anything. I will show you what I can when I can. Um, hey, Nightmare became a supporter. Thank you so much. Welcome. 
That's awesome. Thank you, man. We've had a lot of new supporters lately, and I, I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, so when you become a supporter, you get like exclusive behind the scenes videos. You get little updates. I write text posts to kind of let you guys, you know, know how I'm doing, what I'm planning. Um, I always like to have sounding boards when I am uh, thinking about YouTube and it's always nice to, to have that. So, okay. So I'm actually not finding that what I thought I could do is possible, which means we'd have to go back to England. Um, so let me know in chat. Do you really want to see uh, customization. I, I'm, I'm sure that you guys do want to see customization. So I'm going to, I'm going to get us to England. Just bear with me. I know we've been on a, on a black screen. Awesome. Jake. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I think we're going to, we're going to go for about 30 more minutes, guys. Um, I'm sure you would, you guys would be here and watch all day long. Um, so I, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, God, this is making me think if I want to stream more because like I've, I've, I uploaded the video, the let's play part one and it's doing well, like it's doing great. I, I'm looking at the stats right now. It's doing awesome. But a lot of you are telling me like, you don't, you're going to watch it until you play the game, which I totally get. But like, would you watch more just open world exploration stuff like this over the weekend? Cause I can hop on a couple hours tomorrow and uh, and Sunday and Monday, right? You would? Thank you, guys. <laughs> you guys are the best. You're making me so happy. Oh, I just have to find a way to show you stuff that doesn't spoil. Okay, so I'm, I've still got the screen, black, screen blacked out. I know, I know. Um, let me get to the right place to show you what we can do. Uh, oh, no. Actually, I don't think I've, I haven't even built the proper area to show you customization. You know what? I don't think there's any rule that says I can't, actually, there might be. I know I'm being the worst right now. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... Yeah, I actually can't. I don't even have it yet. I, I don't have the capability to customize, so I can't show you customization. Um, I can show you... Okay, that makes me feel better. It's not that I can't show you. It's that I literally cannot. You can't just hop on a boat and go to England. I, I keep seeing that question. You can't just hop on a boat and sail. <laughs> it's a loading screen. You have to fast travel. Okay, here we go. I can show you this. There we go. Yeah, so this is, yeah, blacksmith enhancement. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but... Um... These are all the pe the gear pieces. Hunish bow. We just got the Warhammer. Seems pretty cool. I don't know how I feel, though, about upgrading it, because I haven't really used it enough. So at the top is you're currently equipped... Then we've got everything else. I don't even have the resources yet to take this to the next level. So. But it's definitely more exciting to enhance a weapon. I definitely know that for sure. So let's uh, let's do the Warhammer. It's my first hammer. I really like the way it, it handles. So we had that lame kind of first look. And now we've got this one. Which... This changed it a little more than I expected it would. I do good work, I must say. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later, friend. Put the 
so we look at this now yeah it's pretty sick actually it looks cool and then we can slot a rune in there Let's do a rune of attack. I'm pretty boring. I always put a rune of attack in my thing. And then let's upgrade it once. Cool. So you can play around with that more. All right. I'm blacking it up again. We're going back. We're going back to Norway. If you guys had eagle eyes, I accidentally showed a little bit of the map there. I don't think there's any explicit spoilers, but yeah, I just... I'm a rule follower. I don't want to get in trouble. Can you unequip the bow? You can. You can. No, can you? I don't think I've actually shown tried that yet. Let's check it out. Does it have transmog? I keep seeing that question, and I don't. It might be something you have to unlock, but it immediately off the top, it doesn't look like it, at least not on launch. Don't hold me to that. Can you turn off decapitations and dismemberment? You can. There's a lot of stuff you can control. You can turn off nudity, blood, dismemberment, decapitation. Same thing, I guess. Um, and you can turn off the x-ray assassinations that happen on specific kills. So, like, if you're someone who just really does not want to see very graphic, like, there's some very graphic stuff in this game, um, you can control that. So, yeah. All right, <clears throat> enough mystery. Ren, I specifically remember uh, you telling me that. Yeah. Um, you can make this game more comfortable if that's something that bothers you. We're back. Home sweet home. Actually, I'm gonna take off the Berserker set. Through the waves. And let's test that that bow you guys were asking about. Boom. Unequipped, hidden, no bow. I'm gonna change everything here. Raven Clan. Oh, this is another piece that I have. It's very ranged focus. Huntsman torso. Raven Clan armor. Raven Clan helmet. But we're going to hide it because. Eh. Bracer. Breaches. Yeah. We're full Raven Clan. So we've got that set bonus now, which is, which is good. Cool. Well, let's upgrade my quiver. Why not? All right. So on the world map, I want us to travel oh is that a legendary animal are you guys thinking what i'm thinking we should be able to take it because of the power level of this area let's do it i always knew there was there's something Run up the sail. Big that, that big rock right there there's got to be something up there Why did I choose a female? I didn't. I chose choose the animus, which is the center option. So choosing the animus will pick the uh, version of Eivor that has the highest synchronization at the moment. Um, and I can tell you guys so far, I don't really think this is a spoiler, that it hasn't switched yet. So take that for what you will. How does one climb this mountain without... Do we want to go on the other side is what I'm trying to figure out. Because it feels like this is a very steep path. And it feels like we'd have an easier time on the other side of the mountain. So actually, I'm going to say we sail back around. So let's go north and then west.
I've seen a lot of requests to change to male Eivor. Hmm. Let me think. Let's try it. I don't think... Because I'm very careful, I'm going to black out the screen. Whoa. Really? Okay, I don't think that's anything I can't show. You click Animus, you click Change Eivor's Appearance, and then you just select Memory Stream, and it loads immediately. Just like that. Sorry for being annoying Enough about that, sale. guys. I just didn't know it was that simple. Um, Brock wants to know about navigation. Yeah, so with the long ship, it is kind of hard to turn at times. So, that's something that I've noticed. Um, yeah. It depends. Like, once you've got momentum like I have right now, it's very easy to make small little adjustments. Um, you also have little controls like follow the coastline. So now I have the game automatically controlling the long ship just by following the coastline and then if you set a waypoint you can have the long ship go to the waypoint and if you do any of those things you can turn on the cinematic camera and uh, you can actually see the individual Yams Viking that you have um, recruited so those aren't just random Vikings. Like, those are your guys. Those are your people that you meet in the story. <laughs> I know, it's hard to avoid spoilers, guys. It is. Uh, or, sorry, it's hard to avoid temptation when there's gameplay out there. What are those? Oh, those are people. Yeah, so we're going for that animal, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, so we, I could probably pull over at any moment here. So let's drop the sail. Drop the sail. Close the sail. Close the sail. Close the sail. Man. Hey, there's no need for this. Don't turn twice if I stay here. Let's call our wolf mount. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I've noticed at times that it feels like the mount sprints on its own, so you don't necessarily have to engage the sprint. Okay, I don't know. There might be a mystery right there, but I'm just gonna keep going. I'm really interested in fighting this legendary creature. Oh. How pretty this game is. Yeah, a wolf mount. This comes Ooh. with the Berserker pack, so I think you had to get a certain edition or something. But I think it's also sold separately. All I know is that whatever UB sent me came with a rideable wolf. And this is once again an animus hack, meaning that Eivor is not literally riding a wolf. Since we're dealing with the animus. There are certain liberties that you have to keep in mind that make, that give reasonable explanations for the unexplainable. That's probably the best way to put it. Thank you, Matthew, for the super chat, man. Appreciate you. That's not a spoiler. Uh, yeah, that's been publicly said. I think that's how it's explained in Odyssey as well. Okay, guys. Y'all ready for this? I have not used Yom Viking, Yom's Vikings yet. Okay, this here he goes. Giant spawn must die. Nice. Let's do a Russian bash. I don't know. Okay, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I'm fighting an animal, for God's sake. 
Why would I think that would ever work? I unequipped my bow and I can't use it. So there you go. If you don't want to use range at all, you can unequip your bow. But I need it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. That was big damage. Not get too cocky. That's Rise of the Valkyrie. Oh. This guy is having a really hard time landing any hits on me. Good God, that was brutal. All right, legendary animal down. I assume there's some kind of like, yeah, elk of Bloody Peak's head. So we, I assume we turn that into somebody and get something cool. Look at this view though, to celebrate our victory. Gosh, this place is gorgeous. There's something. What do you see? Something wealth related. There's some chests around here. Oh, look, there's one under the waterfall. How do we get over there without freezing to death, though? Does the combat feel as good as Ghost of Tsushima or better? Uh, just fundamentally different. I think it's pretty hard to draw a comparison between these combat systems, personally. More like um, what you played in the last couple of games. Yeah. Note written in charcoal. Great elk is near, soon we meet. I have killed bear by axe and wolf by tooth. I am the great hunter. I know no equal. Well. Oh yeah, we leveled up. Where do we go next, people? Uh, since it's always exciting to find... Oh, adrenaline upgrade slot. Let's definitely go for that. So we've got ability damage upgrade. Adrenaline slot unlocks. This looks like the smoke bomb. Yeah, assassin's cantrip. So you can't... There are no tools like we used to have. Um, like in a game like Origins or Pre-Origins. But you can still throw smoke bombs, but you have to parry. Which I'm... I don't love that. I'll, I'll be honest. I wish you could just throw smoke bombs. But it's okay. Not like a deal breaker. And then there was one more Let's see you, chest around here. I want to grab this and then we'll go see what that wealth is and then what are we at okay i'm gonna to try to find a, a stopping point which i know will be sad for some of you but yeah um there's no reason i can't stream tomorrow um i think that would be a blast and you guys seem to really really love this so uh tia thank you so much for the super chat that's awesome thank you tia one of our YouTube members. I assume that there's a cave. Am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Oh, is that an entrance? No, it's not. You can see that faint little glimmer. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can. Ah, Best there's the entrance. Lab, my friend. Is the game beautiful on current gen? You're watching on current gen, Brandon. Um, so, I think you have your answer. I think it is. 
Note written in blood. I saw the great elk. I met my match. I await my death. Oh no, he didn't make it. At least he left a chest for me. Pretty cool guy. Get up there, wolf. Looks like we cannot. But maybe we can go around this ridge and we can go back up. Wow. Yeah, see, look at this. Uh, let's go around this way. Yeah. When will reviews be released? I cannot share that information. But I can tell you that... Um, I will not be doing, like, a full review when all those reviews come out. Um, I don't like to rush through games, so, um, you won't see that from me. Maybe in the future, though. I mean, like, I, I think it'd be really smart once I do finish this game to give you guys my overall thoughts. Am I going to play more like a Viking or an Assassin? Both? I think it's probably the best answer because this is true. Like, I've done both and I've had a good time. Look at this. Look at the views. This might be the prettiest spot I've found in the entire game so far. Wow. left a note scorched paper those fools from Fornberg said I was mad but they will fall before Kyotve's blade my hoard is hidden and safe ha they will have to walk through fire to get it I have to walk through fire I mean I'll do it they surely they don't mean just the the fire there right Maybe they do. Hmm. Maybe... Okay, that's not the way. Let's try this. Long shot, but I'm curious. Definitely some fire going on there. <laughs> Throw a torch over the wall. So that blew up the pots. So now I can move this? Yeah. Ingot for our upgrades. We got most of the wealth in this region. You have a feeling something, something is in these mountains, right? Like surely, most of this is not just nothing. Like all up here, there's got to be something up here. We still have so much of the region we have, like, we haven't even touched this. It's honestly insane. <laughs> hmm. Let's fast travel back to our ship and then do this one little mystery, and then I'm going to shut off the stream. The map, man. Ooh. Toby says, with the let the on animus uh, choose option, have you experienced any gender changes? No, I have not. There is an Atlas button at the bottom left corner. Yep. 
Norway is huge. Sure is. Can your mount die? I actually don't know. This is actually this is my first time you guys are seeing me play as uh, male Eivor. This is my first time playing as the male. So, ah, it's a world event. Be careful or be cursed. Foul magic gathers here. A pestilence poisons this land. A warning to warlocks. Let it be known that satyr magic in these lands will be the sole dominion of seers and other wise women. If any male, he be boy or man, is found guilty of this unmanly practice, he will face exile at the very least, and perhaps even death by the removal of those manly elements that yet remain. Foul magic Herald, King of Vestfold. A pestilence. What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? I pray is the most cunning of beasts, capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You are hunting someone then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted satyr magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I will weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. So... Just a quick note, none of what you're doing here gets tracked in the quest log. You just have to go to the place on the map that has the icon and then follow the instructions and pay attention. Which, as I've explained, I think is awesome. I really dig that kind of uh, design. I'm gonna switch this to the dagger. So we're going dagger and hammer. And we're gonna upgrade that. Why not? Guys, I just had like the overwhelming realization that I'm going to be playing this on Xbox Series X next week, and it's going to be running, a, hopefully, a buttery smooth 60 frames. And then I think my capture card is not 4K, so it won't be 4K. You guys won't be seeing 4K, but you will be seeing 60, which is a big deal to me. Yeah, you can look forward to me getting lost. I don't think I necessarily have to follow this guy. Have you come to face me, finally? <laughs> or will you continue to harass me from afar? I'm hunting warlocks. Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you're not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. As a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I try to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. Hey, Whoa! You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster. They're fighting each other? To hell with you. Do I just let this happen? <laughs> Okay, who's winning? On the right, we have the Warband Chief, who has a distinct strength advantage against the Warlock. Now, the Warlock has dual wielding axes, which is a fun weapon combination, but it looks like the Warband Chief is off to an early lead. It looks like the Warband, uh, the Warlock, excuse me, has very bad aim. I'm just going to let this play out. We're going to see how nature... Okay, nature intended for the warlock 
one day to get murdered. will be cleansed of these twisted deceivers. I struck first, so I will claim the bounty. You may take what you wish from its carcass. I doubt that I could have actually claimed any bounty there. The plight of the warlock. Poor warlock. So I'm assuming you guys, you could have, you could have killed the the hunter if you wanted to. Could have gone either way. I could have killed the warlock. Unfinished letter. Sadiq, sometimes I despair at the blight of ignorance covering this land. I yearn for the warmer climes that worked my thoughts like a farmer's field, planting seeds of unimagined possibilities. Ideas that would find poor soil here. But then I see some old woman, so much like my own dear mother, and reminded of what my younger self would have given for someone knowledgeable and healing during that distant dark time. There is so much. It's unfinished. Moldy cheese. That's great. But yeah, these, these quests give a lot of XP. Like, we've leveled up several times um, over the course of the stream. We could head further down in this direction, or we could head down in this direction. I'm going to head straight down. So let's grab ability damage and light attack. Okay, that's Breakfall. Not a big fan. Um, just because, yeah. I, I don't plan on jumping from uh, <laughs> tall heights that would normally kill me. Thanks. Thank you, Jake, for moderating. Um, really do appreciate you. Um, every, all, all my mods that showed up today for the impromptu stream. Um, but yes, guys, that's it. We're wrapping up the stream. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Make sure you're subbed if you just happened upon this and you haven't subbed yet. Um, I will be uploading more. And like I said, I think we should stream tomorrow. Um, I think that would be a blast. So let's plan on it sometime around midday central time in, in the U.S. Um, thank you to new supporters. We got two of them. Um, I don't... New members. I don't know if I can see your names. Um, but thank you so much. Really do appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you to my existing supporters and members who showed up. Thank you for to Super Chatters. Really appreciate you guys um, for the support. Uh, yeah, stay tuned on the channel. Lots more Valhalla. Um, I plan to play a lot more games than just Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So if you're into open world story focused games like I am, uh, make sure to stay tuned on the channel. Um, so once again, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you uh, tomorrow on stream.